Hi, I'm Scott Cuthbert, co-founder of Safepedia, and uh, with me today is Chris Williams from VPPPA. And uh, Chris is here to talk a little bit about the upcoming conference, uh, Safety Plus. And uh, really, really excited to be talking with you today, Chris. And I know it's the uh, 40th anniversary, so this is gonna this is gonna be a big one. What can uh, what can people expect? Scott, appreciate the opportunity to speak with you today. Uh, more, more than happy to partner with Safepedia and, and really kick off what is going to be our, our 40th anniversary celebration as an association, but also our 40th conference coming up here uh, next month out in Aurora, Colorado at the beautiful Gaylord Rockies. We've got a lot of exciting things planned. Like I said, it's, yeah, COVID, if or if you can say it's a silver lining, the only silver lining we can find is the fact that we by, by canceling our 2020 conference, it married up that 40th conference and the 40th anniversary celebration so it's it's really going to be a nice kickoff event um as we start our, our ruby year celebration we've got a lot of fun things uh planned for that conference as well from the attendee standpoint but also from the year-round celebration standpoint as well we're, we're going to theme it and we're going to talk a little bit about at the conference and throughout the next year or so our past present and future and really focus on the future aspect of it um, it's as we look at vpv modernization the efforts that OSHA has undertaken over the past year or so that VPPPA has played a major role in, that, that's really going to pick up some steam, especially from the standpoint of some of the announcements that we're going to be excited to hear from OSHA at our conference here at Safety Plus next month. Yeah, there's a, a lot a lot going on this year, obviously, with with OSHA and the election year. Um, so I know a lot of, a lot of people are... Uh, uh, kind of on the edge of their seat a little bit waiting waiting for some of the updates to come and uh you're you're going to give people a little bit of a, a heads up on what to expect and, and we'll, we're fortunate this year that we have uh secretary of labor for osha doug parker who will speak at our, our closing keynote along with uh six-time olympic gold medalist amy van dyken uh ruin who is a denver native and who's going to have a great story from her standpoint of, of not only her olympic triumphs but also the accident that has has She's now a paraplegic and really inspirational story of fighting through that and proving people wrong and, and not letting people dictate your story to you. But from the, the OSHA standpoint, with Secretary Parker will also present the SG of the Year Award. He, he's going to have some some pretty cool, I think, announcements. We're actually going to have a conversation with him here as we lead into the event itself about what the modernization efforts, where we're at with that, and some of the things that we've been working with OSHA on to modernize VPP. The program itself has been around more than 40 years and this is the biggest undertaking, I would say, in the program's history to really revamp it and modernize it and, and gear it up towards the future. And, and a big part of that's going to be yeah, as we focus on the next month or so with ASSP's safety PDC coming up, uh, we're going to present with ASSP, our partners there, on the VPP for construction framework that we're going to present to OSHA here next month. And I think that Secretary Parker is also going to hit on that a little bit as we make the program more friendly towards the construction sector, especially and bring in some of those contractors, general contractors, commercial contractors, and especially folks into the VPV fold. We, we know that uh, that's a major market for us as an association. It's a major market in terms of, of the VPP standpoint, because we know there's plenty of companies out there that meet or exceed VPP standards that are the best of the best in their industry. We want to make sure that we welcome them. Yeah, that's great. I know we, we've uh, had a lot of questions about uh some some of the new emphasis programs, how they're going to roll out, and how they're going to affect uh, contractors, subcontractors uh, in, in particular, and who's who's responsible at the end of the day. So I imagine that's going to be a, a heated, interesting conversation that's going to take place. Yeah, I won't spoil Secretary Parker's comments, but I expect to hear some some about that in his comments here coming up next month. Yeah, great. So as, as far as we're talking about speakers, um, what else what else can attendees uh, expect to see as far as the, the speaker lineup or, or themes this year at uh, Safety Plus? Our themes this year, it's a great question because our themes this year are going to center around the four elements of VPP. And we're fortunate enough this year that we brought back not only the opening keynote, but also our closing keynote, as I mentioned, Amy Van Dyke and Ruin. Our opening keynote is Ben Nemp, the New York Times bestselling author. And I've heard him speak a number of times before. He, he's got a great message as well from a leadership standpoint about developing your leadership skills, which is critical when we look at it, where we're going with Safety Plus. VPPA Safety Plus, it is a collection of the best of the best. We've got 65 professional development sessions, 140 exhibitors, 2,000 attendees. And our attendees are exhibit, and our exhibitors are there for one reason. It's to share their best practices 
and help advance health and safety excellence. And when we talk about that with Ben Nempton being our opening keynote on Monday, it's important because his message is going to resonate with everyone in the room, every single one of our attendees. It doesn't matter what their title is. And this goes beyond our events, our association. But from a safety and health standpoint, every single one of us is a safety leader. And that's the message he's going to impart. And so we look beyond that, too. Some of the events that I'm really excited about at VPPPA's 2024 Safety Plus, uh, we're going to do VPP site tours. Um, two of them in particular are Tuesday to the Rocky Mountain Arsenal, which is a great VPP site, very unique, but also one that we're about to announce to Molson Quarters. Uh, they have a couple of VPP sites out in Golden, Colorado, and we're going to be fortunate enough that we've worked with them to arrange not one, but two separate mini tours as part of the event itself. So, so we talk about sharing best practices, but also picking them up. It's a great opportunity for our attendees to see how things are done in a kind of more unique environment than what I think we'd be traditionally associated with from both the construction, manufacturing, industrial side. One other thing I will mention as well, um, we, we've evolved this event. This is an ongoing process. We've listened to our attendees and we want to make it fun. In addition to, to learning the networking that has always been present at Safety Plus, we're going to do some really cool things, especially on Wednesday. We do our, our tailgate and our night at the ballpark with the Colorado Rockies game. Our attendees, if you've got a full registration, you can go to the game. We've expanded our content on Wednesday just so we can build in baseball into the event itself. So it's going to be a great time. I'm really building some of these fun events, especially on the exhibit hall floor as well with our fun zone and some of the games we're going to have there. So it's we really want to focus on the learning aspect of it, the networking side of it, but also having fun as well because we want to make sure that, that our folks, our attendees, they understand that this is a great opportunity for them to let loose a little bit and have some, enjoy themselves while also picking up new best practices and, and knowledge. Yeah, that's fantastic. <clears throat> Heidi and I were talking about that. It sounds exciting, and and uh, I know I'm I'm a little biased. I'm uh, I'm um, you know I'm in Alberta. I'm, I'm I always joke that I'm a little north of Denver uh, and uh, along the Rockies as well, and and. The Gaylord Colorado is is just a gorgeous, uh, gorgeous facility and 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 scenic and and uh, pretty exciting to uh, to take a tour downtown and uh, and hit the uh, hit the baseball game. Yeah, it's you hit it spot on with, with the Gaylord Rockies. It is a spectacular property. Best part is it's close to the airport. If you've ever been to Denver, you know that it, it is not close to downtown. That <laughs> airport. They built it almost in Kansas, and I say that lovingly because I love going out there and visiting folks out there. But the Gaylord Rockies is about 10 minutes from the airport, and, and Aurora itself, um, some of the things that we're going to be promoting to our attendees as well is the fun things to do in Aurora. Uh, just the, the surrounding area, it's, it's very unique. It's very, it's very quirky. It's very fun. Uh, they've got some really cool places, open air spaces, and, and Stanley Marketplace, for example, where our attendees can go and, and shop dine, enjoy themselves from a social aspect, and it's 15 minutes from the hotel. It's a great little trip there. So it's we're really looking forward to that, and especially from the West Coast standpoint. You know, being out in Denver, this is our first time holding VPPBA Safety Plus out in Denver. And the response we've gotten, not just from our members out there, but also from OSHA's Region 8 folks, from the regional administrators Jennifer Roos down to the VPP manager, Brad Baptiste, the help, the support they've given us, um, they've connected us with folks on the ground out there to really push forward in terms of, of registrations from our local folks there. And we're really seeing a big pickup there and their efforts. You know, I, I have to applaud them and have to thank them for it. Jennifer's recorded videos for us, welcoming us out there to their hometown. They're really excited about it. And it's really, really spreading to not just our team, our volunteer leaders and our staff, but also to our attendees as well. Yeah, that's great. Um, I, 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 love the uh the accommodations and and uh, like you say super super convenient uh from from the airport to uh, airport yeah, we, to the hotel yeah Scott, we, we may actually have to hold some sessions out by the lazy river this year um, <laughs> so i've been out there a few times and i i can tell you I've, it's always been in the winter time and it, it's heated but i've always looked at it and you might see me out there hopefully <laughs> yeah. I, I can get a break from some things and might might hold some sessions out there Little executive director privilege there to get to get out there on the lazy river in the pool. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Um, on the on the speaker professional development side, do the do uh, the sessions count for for professional development uh, for for uh, safety folks who are looking to maintain their their credentials? They do. We're fortunate enough that with BCSP, our partners there, that 
our courses, they will accept some of those four CEUs. Um, and we're actively working towards our ISAT accreditation as well, which we expect as part of our 40th celebration in 2025 in St. Louis to have courses there fully accredited across the board. But with, with our BCSP friends, you know, there, there's that CEU portion of it. Also for our SGEs, leading the courses themselves, and in some cases participating in some of these interactive courses, will give them credit towards their SGE certification and recertification. So that's an important aspect to really talk about it is the fact that with our SGE course on site, training a brand new crop of SGEs and be able to go straight into, if they're presenting there, they're, they're going to get credit as that as an activity towards that recertification as well. Give them a jump on that. Great. And uh, I know exhibitors are always trying to, uh, you know, up up the show from the, the previous year and and get some uh, get some engagement, have have some fun as well. What what can uh, attendees expect from a exhibitor perspective? We, we've we've really listened to our exhibitors and worked with them over the past year or so to take a look at what we could do to expand the events and the activities in the expo hall this year. And one of the things we're going to do is on Sunday night, August twenty fifth, we're going to have an opening reception on the exhibit hall floor. We've not done that in quite some time. It's a great opportunity to preview the exhibit hall for the next two days to really connect with exhibitors early on and really build the excitement leading into the, the real opening of the conference on Monday morning. Uh, some of the other things, we're going to have a fun zone. Everybody's asked, what the heck does that mean? It is literally what it means. Literally what I said. It's, it's a place where our attendees can go to the exhibit hall after networking and connecting with our exhibitors to kind of relax, play a few games network connected to each other and then go back out there, re-energize themselves. Um, we're working on a golf simulator right now, for example, that uh, has been a big hit at some of our regional conferences and is going to be a big hit here as well. Um, especially after our, our scholarship golf tournament Sunday morning, uh, some of us going to need to hit that golf simulator, I think a little bit. Practice yeah. Up. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like fun. Um, and so as, as far as re registering for the, for the event, um, we'll include links, um, you know, in in the description. But any any specific instructions or anything for people to uh, consider in registering? Absolutely. If you go to safety.vpppa.org, of all the information on the conference, including the full agenda with with our speaker list and, and more than sixty five professional development sessions and the Sunday deep dives that we have that are first time we've ever done this. They're open to all attendees on Sunday. So so get in early. I will also mention that. We're, we're looking at a really, really great show this year. Uh, like I said, I mentioned, we're looking at more than 2,000 attendees. If you haven't booked your hotel room at the Gaylord Rockies, you need to do so now because we're nearing selling out the entire hotel. We do have a secondary block up as well um, that we can use. But the Gaylord Rockies itself, we've had a, a tremendous response from not just our previous attendees, but a lot of first timers as well. They're going to experience VPPPA Safety Plus for that first time this year. And really looking forward to en engaging them, especially, like I said, as we go to the 40th show and our 40th anniversary celebration, mm -hmm. as we start to roll out our new 40th anniversary logo, for example, at this show on Monday. Um, it's going to be a great opportunity to hear not just from, from leaders, but also participate in the present and the future of EPPPA and have your voice heard. Yeah, that's exciting. It sounds sounds like an amazing event. Um, get like uh, like Chris said, get uh, register quick. Get your uh, book your hotel room. I know there's a number of uh, hotels in walking distance. Um, if if uh, if it does sell out, but uh, definitely, uh, uh, like you said, uh, the uh, the Gaylord Rockies is an amazing amazing facility, and uh, would definitely encourage people booking a room uh, right there for convenience sake. Yeah, for, fortunately, we've, we've had the opportunity, like I said, to set up a couple secondary hotel blocks because of the demand that also have shuttles to the Gaylord that, that'll run. So it's that'll be a, a nice opportunity as well. Um, we, it's I would If you haven't been able to book a room at the Gaylord Rockies, keep checking back. Sometimes rooms will open up, but I can tell you, you know, it's we've been getting calls from the hotel itself telling us, no, Moss, we're, we're full. You, <laughs> you've sold us out. So that's, that, that's good for us. It's good for us from an attendee standpoint and also from an experience standpoint. And really, this or Safety Plus is, is the kickoff in some ways to our year, especially with our regional conferences and other events, but even more so with our 40th anniversary. There's a lot of great opportunities, a lot of great events that we're planning um, throughout the end of this year and into next year as well before next year's Safety Plus out in St. Louis. From our PSM conference uh, coming up next April down in Houston, uh, through some of the SG events that we're going to be putting on, not just from a regional standpoint, from a national standpoint, really excited to see what the future holds and be able to announce some of those in, in the coming months here 
uh, from an activity standpoint and from a networking standpoint as well. Great. Well, Chris, it's a pleasure speaking with you today and uh, definitely encourage everybody to uh, to visit the site. Uh, like I say, the link will be below and get get signed up and book that hotel room sooner than sooner than later. Is there any anything that we we missed that uh, that uh, attendees or potential attendees should should know about? It's, I will mention as well, last year at VPNBA's 2023 Safety Plus, we partnered with EHS Today and co-located their, um, their their event, their Safety Leadership Conference. We're doing so again this year. Uh, we highly encourage folks to, to register for both conferences because there's a lot of great content, and a lot of great crossover. But the one thing new we're doing this year is we're combining our awards, EHS Today's America's Safest Companies Awards and VPPA's Awards and Scholarship Program into one reception. It's going to be a great opportunity for us to celebrate the truly the best of the best in environment, health, safety, and sustainability excellence. So it's, it's, we're very excited about that to be able to have both of our award ceremonies in the same place and to bring our attendees together to co-mingle there and, and to really amp up that networking opportunities and the best practice sharing, which is what it's all about. Absolutely. Well, again, thanks so much, Chris, for, for joining us and uh, look forward to uh, a successful conference. Absolutely, Scott. Thank you for the opportunity. Appreciate Absolutely. it.